In this video, I will be revealing to you 7 major differences between a business name and a company name. And by the end of this video, you will be armed to the teeth with the required information that enables you to decide whether you are to register a business name or a company name and more. Let's dive right in. Hi friend, welcome to my channel. This is Mike Akiridi aka Awesome Mike. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to this channel because I share content on crypto, sales and marketing, and any topic that will make life easier, better, and richer for you. So feel free to subscribe and turn on the notification bell now so you will be the first person to discover new content when published. Go ahead and subscribe now. It's free. Yes, it's free. I'm waiting for you. Subscribe now. Okay, thank you for that. Let's proceed. Let me state this. This video is a continuation to the series I started in my last video where I shared my Shege Pro Max experiences while registering one of my business names under CAC. If you missed it, you will find the link to the video under the description section of this video. And sure you check it out. Now, one of the frequently asked questions about CAC is, what's the difference between a business name and a company name? There are many differences between the two but i'm going to give you the most important ones right now a business name only needs to have you or just one person as a sole proprietor or proprietors or partners handling the business but a company is required to have a director or directors and shareholders another difference between them is a business name has no legal personality of its own apart from the person who registers the business under his name. This means that your business can only sue or be sued under your name since you are the owner or owners of the business. Company name is a separate legal body or entity that stands alone from the name of the directors and shareholders. This means that the company can sue or be sued under this company name. Here's the next one. Your business name will pay taxes to the state board of internal revenue, but company name pays its taxes to the federal inland revenue. This one I'm about to review is very important, so pay attention. A business name can get up to 20 partners, except for law and accounting firms, but a company name can get up to 50 shareholders. I'm sure you are getting the gist already, right? Let's proceed to the next one. Your business name can be upgraded to a limited liability company, shortened to LLC. Why your limited private company can be upgraded to a public limited company, shortened to PLC. What about getting funds for your business? Your business name only has you as the owner to fund the business from your personal money, but a company can get a loan in the name of the company plus the opportunity to raise funds by issuing its shares out to interested private investors. Here's the last point. Let me ask you, have you thought about the continuation of your business? Let me show you what I mean. If you, as the founder of the business, get hold, let's say you spent 120 years on it and you depart. I mean, you depart to spend the rest of your life in heaven with our Father in heaven. That sounds like a punchline, right? Oh, interesting. Okay, 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 let's continue. Since the founder of the business is no more, the business is then dissolved. Unless the family members of the deceased can continue the business. But when it comes to our company name, since it's an entity on its own, it can continue to be run by the director of the company even after the founder's departure unless the family members of the founder apply for a letter of administration to take over the company or appoint a new director. Here's the bonus point for hanging out with me till this moment. This is the most important one and the reason why I saved it for you as a bonus. 
so pay full attention if you are planning to get grants from companies or bid for a contract from an organization your business name comes with a certificate of registration that you can use to get grants bid for contracts or even open a current account with banks but company name comes with a certificate of incorporation and other documents like memorandum and articles of association shorting to memat m e m a r t you can use to bid for contracts now that i've shown you the major differences between a business name and company name i think it's the right time for you to hit the like button on this video so youtube algorithm can recommend it to others who need to see it too go ahead like this video now it's free yes it's free in my next video i will be unveiling the most exciting benefits why you need to register your business with cac especially if you haven't considered it or given it a thought before this will be the end of today's video did you enjoy this video then consider giving it a like if you haven't subscribe to this channel and share this video link with one friend who can't afford to miss it which other question is on your mind concerning cac registration feel free to leave it in the comment section i reply to all comments as fast as i can thank you for watching this video i'm mike akirili aka also mike god bless you see you in the next video <music>